Hey, what's up? Cody, the second form by US. And today, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone 3G or second gen iPod Touch, being the 8GB model or the 16GB or 32GB second gen. So, essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to want to grab your uh, baseline 4.0 firmware for your device. Uh, links to download your firmwares are down below in the description. And you're going to want to pick up Red Snow. So, once you have Red Snow 0.9.5. B5-5. You're going to want to browse for your baseline 4.0 firmware. Once you get that, you're going to want to open it. And I want to point out that you're going to need to have your device turned off and plugged into your computer, as you can see mine is. So once you have that, you're going to click next on your computer. It's going to download kernel and everything around your jailbreak. And if you screw up your device during this, I am not liable for anything you do to it. Just watch some YouTube videos and try to figure out what you did wrong. So, we're going to enable multitasking, enable home screen wallpaper, enable battery percentage, and install Cydia. Uh, these are just custom things you can click on if you really want to. Uh, I don't think they're all that important. So, uh, next, make sure your device is both off and plugged in to the computer for this next step. Click next only when your device is both plugged off, plugged in, and turned off. And next. Hold down the power button for two seconds. Now hold down the home button without releasing the power button. Now release the power button while continuing to hold the home button. Okay, here we go. We're waiting for your DFU mode. Keep holding your device until you see the jailbreak screen come on. Keep holding the home button. Uh, I like to keep holding it until I see this logo. Now you can release. Now you can let that sit on the table. And I'll get back to you once this is done. Okay, so now we see this message come up and it says the rest of the process takes place on your device. So now we are done with the computer, we can close out of that. Now the iPhone is doing its thing, I'll get back to you when the iPhone is done. Okay, so now that this is done, you can see that the Apple logo will pop up and the device will reboot. Okay, so now that the device is rebooted, you will see that since I don't have a SIM installed, to use that. So, uh, you can see the device is now jailbroken. We have Cydia. Uh, now, I have never done this before, so this is new to me also. Uh, the phone icon seems to be gone, so uh, I really wouldn't recommend doing this, but if you really want some jailbreak features, here's the, here you go. So, uh, that's my video on it. I don't know why the phone icon is gone. Maybe that's a glitch. I don't know. <laughs> So, thanks guys, comment and subscribe, uh, leave your comments down below, uh, let me know what you think. Do you think that that's stupid, how the phone button's gone? I don't know. Uh, let me know how it turns out to you. Maybe the phone button won't be gone. Uh, I'm guessing if you're on an iPod Touch, it won't do anything harmful to it. I don't know. It all depends. So, thanks guys.